welcome back to my channel. So happy Valentine's Day. It is officially Valentine's Day, February 14, 2020. So to end my little three day Valentine's Day themed videos, I have a brand new red apron. And I think it would be cool to cook a little, nothing crazy. I was just thinking of making like a snack of like ramen noodles, cause that's like my favorite snack to make. And maybe like a slice of Spam. And I'll show you guys my radish slicer, which ha is how I got my cut. But it's healing now, it's like a baby cut, something crazy. But when I did cut myself, it was really gross and I thought it was gonna be like this huge hole. But yeah, so I have this apron that I just got. And you wanna see another one of my apron videos, check out uh, my baby blue apron video. Um, so I only have the baby blue apron and this really thick, high quality red apron. So I guess I could just put it over my dress. That's probably the best way to do it. But I think it'd be more fun just to wear it solo with some bottoms. So let me try it on. So this is the apron, you guys. It is really cute. Um, I'm wearing some red shorts to go with it, you know, because it is Valentine's Day video. And yeah, I really am impressed and quite surprised of how good of a quality this apron really is because most of the items I get on AliExpress are made in China and sometimes it's either hit or miss, like it's either good quality which isn't really most of the time. Most of the time, if you're buying something like that's super cheap, like five or six bucks, you don't really think you're gonna get like a high quality fabric material. And I think this was only like eight or nine dollars. So it's like really thick, really strong. And you know what, I think they probably made it that way because they know like you're in the kitchen and they want like a really tough material if you're like in the kitchen. So it has these two front pockets with like a bow design right here. And then the trim, of course, is like a red and white checkered pattern. Very housewife material. And the same as the bottom. And then of course it ties up at the neck and the waist area. So this is my apron for Valentine's Day and for everyday cooking because um, my baby blue apron was very flimsy and very thin. So it's nice to have a real housewife chef apron. So I'm also going to make a snack, like I said. And this is the radish slicer I have shown you guys that I got off Amazon. Really, really cool product. Um, Sorry, it's a little bright. Um, but yeah, you basically take any type of vegetable that you want to slice, potato, cucumber, and you basically, they have this protector. And you, I'll actually show you guys in a little bit, but you just take the vegetable and you slice it over like a bowl or a plate. And it makes like three different slices, thin, medium, or thick. So this is for lazy girl problems because I love radishes. That's my new favorite snack and I'm not trying to like spend all day um, slicing them individually with a knife. So this is just like a faster way to do it. So let's get cooking. So you guys, I'm gonna make my favorite ramen noodles, which is Indomie Migoreng noodles. These are my favorites. I got them from Amazon the other day and I'm gonna make like a slice of Spam to go with it. And I wanted to show you guys how this slicer works. I have some radishes right here that I'm gonna slice. So basically, I already sliced a bunch yesterday. 
like so. So I'm like addicted to potato chips and I figured um, radishes are like my new healthy alternative to potato chips. So you basically just take the slicer and then I like to use the medium slice. And so when I cut my finger, I basically um, didn't use the protector. So lesson learned, always use the protector. So you basically take your vegetable, take the protector, put it over the vegetable, and you just slice away until it stops. And then be careful, because you don't want to cut yourself. And then it just makes like a bunch of slices like this. Isn't that cool? So yeah, I washed them and everything. Um, and now I'm just gonna make my ramen. So I basically have my ramen cooking, you guys. This is called Lazy Girl Cooking because I don't really make super intricate meals. I do it really simple. You know, just take it out of the pack and cook it. I do not claim to be a chef by any means. And when I cook, I do it very simple and lazy. Or I do take out. So we got the spam sizzling and frying and then the noodles getting cooked. So I just finished my meal, you guys. I have migoreng noodles that are nice and steaming from the stove. And then I have my sliced radish and my spam. So let's try it. Mm. I never ever get sick of these noodles. Mm-hmm. It's a great Valentine's Day meal. Super simple and easy, but made with love. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish enjoying my meal and wash the dishes and stuff, but I hope you enjoyed my video. I haven't done a cooking video in a while, so <laughs> it was nice to finally do it in my new apartment. Please check out all my social media, my Patreon, and please like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!